Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias. Okay, uh, in this video, I would like to share one module which I have created. This module is called Activities for Students Engagement. Learning, basically learning activities that we can create or as part of our course design or learning design. The aspect on engagement of students in a course, how do we engage them cognitively? This is always one of the critical issues. A lot of people always ask, how do we engage students, especially in the online environment where we don't know what students are doing behind the screen and you know, the, the short concentration span of average learners nowadays is very, very short. So in this module, I have put together uh, about 12 learning activities. So as you can see in the, in the module, uh, on the left hand side here, I have designed it as task-based module. So you just, you just simply go to each task. So I have task one here, ask essential uh, questions. Task two, reading activity. Task three, learning more, learn more. Task four, share your thought. Task five, Let's debate. Task 6. Make your decisions. Task 8. Give rating. Task 9. Task 9 is missing here. I think there's a, I hide the page. Maybe uh, I need to look at, the, look at the content and maybe do some changes there. And task number 10 here is embedded quiz. Task 11. Share highlight. Task 13. Task 12. Discuss podcast. Task 13. Discuss the video. And also there are some uh, resources uh, down there uh, if you want to read further about engaging students with learning activities. So if, what you can see here on this page, this is the first page and that's me, the facilitator. And if you find the module is useful and if there are rooms for improvement, please feel free to give me the feedback and I will read all the feedbacks and I will try to improve this module. So very quickly, if you go to each, each task here, so I just walk through very fast what's in this module. Task one here, asking us essential questions. I personally find that the, the arts of questioning, and I'm still, in, still learning actually, I've been reading uh, this book here, um, Thinking Through Quality Questioning, Deepening Student Engagement. Very, very good book. And this semester, I've been um, applying some of what I have learned in terms of questioning technique in my class. And I'm sharing uh, one of what I've done, one of the activities that I've done a few days ago um, here. So feel free to go through. And this is the book which this, just now I mentioned. Thinking Through Quality question, Questioning, Deepening Student Engagement and I would strongly, highly encourage you to get hold of this book and there are some further readings there. Okay, so task number one, task number two is reading activity. Uh, I introduce uh, some tools how we can do reading activity more effectively. Task number three here, learn more. In this, in this page, on this activity, basically, how do we engage students with content? For example, here, how do we engage students with the video content? And here, I introduce the tool TED uh, to design uh, the, the, the steps, watch, think, dig deeper, discuss. And this is actually a free tool which we can use to engage students with the content. So we design some activities around the video content. And this is a tutorial which I have selected for you. If you can go through and learn how to set up the TEDx. Task number four, share your thought. So again, I explain here what I mean by share your thought and how you can do it in your, for your own class. Task number five here, this is very interesting. Debate. Debate is, I think, one of the very, very good uh, activity, especially for 
uh, to engage students on the higher cognitive level. A very good cognitive engagement uh, where we can get students to work in a group, then give them a topic and they can um, start to prepare the, you know, the pros and the cons. And I give you a tool here. For example, we can set up a Mentimeter for debate using uh, this method here. But there's also another application which is basically designed to do online debate, especially. And I've given you one good, good tutorial from my friend here, Mr. Chua Kiman. If you go through this module, then learn how to set up Kialo, which is the application that we can use to set up a debate, online debate. Then um, you can start to use it in your own class. I strongly recommend you to try out this debate activity to engage students on the high level of uh, cognitive level. Task number six here is my own personal favorite here, scenario-based learning. I strongly believe if you want to, this is one of uh, the le learning activities that can engage students on the high cognitive level, uh, higher order thinking level, scenario, gamification, and simulation. And this a big topic if you want to explore, and I'm still learning and still exploring on this topic. I want to learn how to design uh, scenario-based learning, uh, especially in the online environment. And there are a few tools that we can use for this purpose. Task number eight here, engaging students uh, through this activity called give rating by using a Mentimeter and this is an example. So can you go through the, the example that I've shared here and you can design your own in your, the context of your course. Task number 10 here, embedded quiz. How do we embed quiz in the video using a tool such as Edpuzzle? Task number 11, share highlight. Uh, this is also one of my favorite tools and this is also a very useful tool for personal productivity as well. So this, this tool is called Liner and just go through this page and um, try it out. Task number three, discuss the video using Loom. You can make a quick video and then ask the students to share their response based on the question or whatever that you have delivered in the video uh, down here. Very simple way and quick way to engage students with the video content. Discuss uh, task number 12 here, discuss podcast. Um, don't confine ourselves with the video, but we can also do a podcast and we can also engage students with a podcast, you know, by asking them to interact uh, with the content and to share some thoughts on the content. And of course, uh, if you want to read further, but this is probably good enough for you to get started if you want to uh, uh, adopt and adapt some of these uh, techniques in your own class. And there are some resources that I have shared here. Uh, the books adding some tech variety here this are actually, this is actually a free book you can download it's given uh, free by the authors uh, professor Curtis Bong and Elaine Ko here uh, you have here in this book 100 plus learning activities that you can use so if you are running out of ideas just check out this book you will find a lot of activities you can use and of course this book my favorite book uh, which i hope you know you try to get it and try to start to apply you know some of what you have learned from the book i'm, I'm already applying some of the techniques which uh, i have read from this book and some further readings selected readings that i think are very good uh, for you uh, to, to explore further on how to engage your students effectively in online environment. So that's very briefly about the module engaging students. Feel free to share this module far and wide to as many uh, as possible because you know I want I I prepared this module to benefit people and share whatever I have practiced in my own class and the activities that I found work for me 
maybe in your context, maybe you need to modify uh, slightly. But uh, in most cases, these are the evidence-based kind of activities uh, which uh, you know have been uh, proven work in terms of engaging students cognitively and behaviorally uh, because they are uh, student engagement in terms of behavioral engagement, cognitive engagement, emotional engagement. So those are the things. And also uh, the activity that we design should enable the students to have interaction between them, peers, peers engagement, you know, and the interaction between the students and the content as well. For example, just now we can use TEDx. So we can design activities, questions uh, around the content, based on the content of the video, and the interaction with the students and the teacher. So these are some of the elements that we need to put in as part of our uh, learning design or course design in order to achieve an effective student's engagement. So that's about all. Thank you very much from me, Abdul Karim Alias. I hope this sharing is useful. And if you find the module useful, please give some feedback on the first page, on the home page. There's a, at the bottom there where you can provide your feedback. Thank you very much. And see you in another video.